The stars shimmered in the void as Captain Riker Blake, the most fearless pilot in the galaxy, approached the alien vessel. Little did he know, the greatest threat to his mission wasn't the battleships outside. It was the mesmerizing alien empress within. Captain Riker had heard rumors of the empress of Zora, but nothing could have prepared him for her presence. The moment he stepped into her grand chamber, the air thickened, heavy with tension and something unspoken. The empress, tall and graceful, draped in shimmering cosmic fabrics that seemed to defy gravity, radiated a strange allure. Her glowing eyes locked onto his, and for a moment, time ceased to exist. You must be the famous Riker Blake. Her voice was smooth, laced with a seductive purr, as if she had rehearsed this greeting a thousand times. I've been waiting for you. Riker felt his resolve waver, but steadied himself. I didn't come for pleasantries, Empress. I came for answers. Your fleet has threatened the neutral zones. Why? His tone was firm, but the lingering effect of her gaze unsettled him. The Empress approached slowly, her steps soundless on the silver floor. There are things beyond your comprehension, human, she whispered, now inches from his face. Her scent was intoxicating, like the sweet aroma of alien flowers mixed with the sharpness of ozone. But if you align with me, together we could rule the stars. Imagine the power, the freedom. Riker's pulse quickened. He couldn't tell if it was fear, fascination, or something far more dangerous. What's the price? The Empress smiled, a predatory glint in her eyes. Simple. You and the galaxy. We conquer together. I get the Empire and you, well, you get me. Riker's heart raced. This was no ordinary negotiation. This was seduction, one that could either elevate him to a position of unimaginable power or destroy everything he stood for. But even as the logical part of his mind screamed at him to resist, the primal side of him wondered. What would it be like to reign at her side? Riker tried to focus on the mission, but the Empress's words echoed in his mind, tempting him with visions of glory and power. Deep down, he knew this was no ordinary offer. It was a deadly game, one where the stakes were beyond his comprehension. The Empress circled him slowly, her radiant form casting long shadows in the dim light of the chamber. You hesitate, she observed, her voice slipping into a tone of amusement. Is it fear or desire? Riker clenched his fists. You underestimate me, Empress. I'm not one of your star-struck admirers. But even as the words left his mouth, he felt the tug, the pull of something deeper than attraction. The Empress had an aura, an irresistible energy that was luring him toward the edge. Oh, Captain, she cooed, her tone dripping with confidence. You're stronger than most, I'll give you that, but strength alone can't save you. She leaned in, close enough for him to feel the warmth of her breath. We're not so different, you and I, both fighters, both rulers of our own domains. But together, we could be so much more. Riker struggled to keep his focus. The mission, the crew, the galaxy. He couldn't let this alien temptress unravel everything. But there was something undeniably enticing in her offer. The Empress wasn't just offering power. She was offering something personal, a chance to belong to something greater than himself. He swallowed hard. What's your plan, Empress? If I join you, what happens next? Her lips curled into a sly smile. We unite the fleets. We become unstoppable. But first, her glowing eyes locked onto his. I need you to prove your loyalty. How? he asked, the question barely a whisper as if he feared the answer. The Empress gestured toward a screen that lit up before them. On it, a map of the galaxy shimmered, 
with several star systems glowing red. Those systems, your beloved neutral zones, are in chaos. The people beg for leadership. You will conquer them in my name. Riker's breath caught in his throat. The neutral zones were sacred ground for peaceful civilizations. Conquering them would be an act of war, a betrayal of everything he had sworn to protect. You can't be serious. The Empress's smile widened. Oh, but I am. This is your chance to rise above the constraints of your human morality. You can either be a pawn in someone else's game, or you can be a king. Riker stared at the map, his mind racing. The weight of the decision pressed down on him, but so did the allure of the Empress. She was dangerous, no doubt, but the galaxy was already on the brink of war. Maybe, just maybe, with her by his side, he could shape it into something better, something he controlled. Riker stood frozen, staring at the glowing red systems on the galactic map. His mind was torn between duty and the magnetic pull of the Empress, who stood beside him, her eyes burning with anticipation. Every second felt like a lifetime as the weight of the universe pressed down on him. I won't be your puppet, Riker finally growled, his voice low but firm. His heart pounded in his chest, but he knew he had to say it. I serve the galaxy, not you. The Empress's smile didn't waver, but there was a flicker of something in her eyes. Amusement, perhaps, or a flicker of challenge. She tilted her head, her long silver hair cascading over her shoulders like a waterfall of light. Serve the galaxy, she echoed almost mockingly or serve a broken system that will never let you rise. Riker clenched his fists, his pulse thundering in his ears. I won't betray my people. The Empress sighed, turning her back to him as she approached the large window that overlooked the stars. Your loyalty is... admirable, but it's misplaced. She glanced over her shoulder, her piercing eyes softening just for a moment. Riker... I didn't choose you for your obedience. I chose you for your potential. Do you think I care about the neutral zones? They're a distraction, a test. A test for what? Riker demanded, stepping forward, his resolve shaken but not broken. The Empress turned fully now, her gaze locking onto his with an intensity that made his chest tighten to see if you could look beyond the petty rules of human politics and see the bigger picture. The galaxy is at a tipping point. If you don't act, someone else will. Someone far less merciful. Her words hit Riker like a tidal wave, and for a brief moment, doubt crept into his mind. Was she right? Could he stop the inevitable chaos by joining her? Was his loyalty blinding him to the harsh reality of a galaxy teetering on the edge of collapse? But then he remembered his crew, his friends, the lives he had sworn to protect. Could he truly sacrifice them for a seductive vision of power? Or was this just another manipulative ploy? He took a deep breath, his heart steadying. No, he said firmly, I won't be part of your conquest. The Empress's eyes darkened, her smile fading. For the first time, she seemed disappointed. Pity, she murmured almost to herself. I had such high hopes for you. Suddenly the chamber trembled, the lights dimmed, and a low hum vibrated through the walls. Riker instinctively reached for his blaster, eyes scanning the room for the source of the disturbance. The Empress raised her hand her voice now cold and commanding. You may think you can resist me, Riker, but the galaxy has other plans for you. Soon you'll realize that there is no escaping your destiny. Before Riker could respond, the chamber doors slid open, revealing two Zorian guards, massive armored beings who stepped toward him with purpose. I suggest you leave, the Empress said 
her tone ice cold. For now. Riker's pulse raced as the guards approached. He knew he had pushed his luck, but there was no turning back now. Without another word, he backed toward the door, his eyes still locked on the Empress. You'll regret this, Riker Blake, she called after him, her voice echoing in the cold metallic halls as he made his escape. The stars always claim their own. Riker raced through the dimly lit corridors of the Empress's ship, his mind swirling with confusion and adrenaline. The encounter had left him shaken, but there was no time to reflect. The galaxy still needed him, or so he thought. As he approached the hangar, Riker's calm device buzzed. Captain, you need to get out of there, now! It was Lieutenant Kira, his second in command. Her voice was sharp with urgency. The Empress's forces are gathering. It's a trap. Riker glanced back at the long, twisting corridors, half expecting the Empress to appear and try to manipulate him one last time. But something felt different. Her words haunted him. The stars always claim their own. He knew there was more to her plan than seduction and control, but he couldn't quite put his finger on it. Kira? Riker breathed into his calm. Get the ship ready. I'm on my way. He sprinted toward the hangar bay, every step echoing in the emptiness of the alien vessel. But as he neared the exit, the lights flickered and the doors slammed shut. Before he could react, a figure stepped from the shadows. It was the Empress. You thought you could just walk away? Her voice was no longer soft and alluring. It was cold, sharp, filled with menace. I let you leave, Riker. But you need to understand, you're not in control anymore. The galaxy has a way of reclaiming those who think they can defy its will. Riker drew his blaster, but she merely smirked. You still don't get it, do you? I don't need your consent, Captain. You were marked the moment you entered this ship. What are you talking about? Riker demanded his grip on the blaster tightening. The Empress gestured to the holographic map of the galaxy behind her. Do you see this? Every system, every star, is connected. The Zorian Empire has long ruled the edges of this galaxy. But we are not conquerors by brute force alone. We are something greater. Riker narrowed his eyes. You're insane. Am I? The Empress's voice was eerily calm now. The galaxy isn't about power struggles and wars. It's about evolution, about the convergence of species, the blending of minds. She stepped closer, her gaze never leaving his. We Zorians have mastered the art of merging with others. Once we set our sights on a target, it becomes part of us. Riker's stomach twisted. What are you saying? The Empress smiled darkly. You've already begun to change, Riker. You're linked to me now. You may resist, but soon you'll feel it. A connection, a pull toward me. And when it happens, you'll understand. The galaxy will be ours together. No, Riker whispered, stepping back, his heart racing. That's impossible. Is it? The Empress tilted her head, her eyes glowing faintly. Look into your heart, Riker. You felt it already, the doubts, the temptation. You want to join me, not because of the power I offer, but because you need to. It's in your blood now. Riker staggered, his mind reeling. Could she be right? He had felt strange ever since their encounter. Was it possible that he was... changing? No, he growled, shaking his head. I won't let you control me. The Empress's smile widened. We'll see. Soon, Riker Blake. You'll be mine, whether you want it or not. Riker's head spun as the Empress's words echoed in his mind. Was she right? Was he already bound to her in ways he couldn't comprehend? His heart raced, but he couldn't afford to let fear cloud his judgment. 
he had one last chance to stop her. I won't be your slave, Riker hissed, forcing himself to stand tall. The subtle pull he felt toward her was growing, but he knew what he had to do. The Empress's eyes gleamed with satisfaction. You're fighting a battle you've already lost, Riker. Accept it. The galaxy is ours for the taking. Together we can... No, Riker interrupted, gripping his blaster tightly. This ends now. In a flash, Riker aimed his weapon at the control panel beside the Empress. He squeezed the trigger, and the blaster's bolt struck true, sending sparks flying. The lights in the room flickered and a loud hum reverberated through the walls as the ship's systems faltered. The Empress's smile disappeared, replaced by a look of fury. What have you done? Riker felt a wave of dizziness wash over him as the bond between them began to fray. Whatever connection the Empress had established, it was tied to the ship's core. By damaging it, he was weakening her control. I've bought myself time, Riker said, his voice steady now. Time to stop you. Time to save the galaxy from whatever nightmare you've planned. The Empress snarled, her calm demeanor unraveling. You fool! You think you can defy me? I am the Empress of Ziora. I am eternal. Riker took a deep breath, centering himself. He could still feel her influence tugging at his mind. But he wasn't going to give in. Not now. Not ever. As the Empress advanced on him, her glowing eyes burning with rage, Riker activated the small device hidden in his belt. A high-pitched whine filled the room as the device disrupted the ship's energy field. No! The Empress stumbled, her connection to the ship severed. You don't know what you're doing, Riker. I know exactly what I'm doing, Riker replied, a cold determination in his voice. I'm saving the galaxy. From you, with one final burst of energy, Riker sprinted toward his escape pod. The Empress's furious screams echoed behind him as the ship's systems collapsed in on themselves. He barely made it into the pod, slamming the hatch shut as the vessel began to implode. As the escape pod rocketed away from the ship, Riker glanced back at the exploding vessel. The Empress had been powerful, too powerful, but now she was gone. Or was she? He touched his chest, feeling the faint echo of her influence still lingering inside him. The bond had been broken, but something told him that this wasn't over. The Empress of Ziora might have lost this battle, but the war for the galaxy was far from finished. Riker gazed out at the stars, his mind filled with uncertainty and the weight of what was to come. The galaxy would never be the same.